It's okay, little bugger. It's a bloody big bit to be spinning around like that. All right, thanks for joining me today, you guys. And today is a build that I've wanted to do for a very long time. And we are gonna be building some gas pump display cases. Now, you've probably seen something very similar, say at uh, car shops or at the Harley store where it looks like an old style gas pump. Looks like it's from the 50s or the 60s with the globe on top that lights up. So I wanted to build these because the themes that I wanted to do these in you just can't buy. I hope this gives you some ideas. So let's build them. All right, we've got our parts all machined out and they're looking really good. I like how this uh, arced out. It's got a nice subtle arc to the top of it. We got our opening, which is a nice size. We did the front and we machined out the back. So that's why there's two of these. And uh, what we can start doing next is sanding a little bit. And I got a very, very large radius bit. It's a D two and a half. It's about a $60 bit, 40 to $60. We want to really give a nice round, half round edges. So this is what I got and we're going to start sanding out and radius, radian, radius. <laughs> we're going to radius our cabinet. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, we got the radius all done and it looks really cool. I like it. It's looking more and more like the gas pump that I want it to look like. I'll bring it closer to the camera so you can kind of get an idea of what we're looking at. Nose little round. And I wanted to mention when you're using the router with a bigger router bit, you have to turn the RPMs down lower. The bigger the bit, the lower the RPM. So this is a Makita router that I'm using and I got it down almost to, there's a number two setting. I put it on number two, which is probably only about 500 RPM or so. Now that we got all this done, my next task is I'm going to router and rabbit the edge all the way down. No, not rabbit, but rabbit. It is the method of joining boards by cutting along or near the edge of a piece of wood to allow another piece to fit inside, forming a joint. We need sides because there's going to be another two panels that need something to attach to. So we need something to keep this thing secure and upright. So we're going to put panels on it and then we're going to build some boxes that it'll sit on as well. So yeah, that's the next routering project. So let's do it. Okay, I finished rabbiting it all out with the router bit and I'll kind of show you guys there on the screen how it looks. We have our big round over here and then we had milled that out so that I can attach a side and the top to it so I have something to, to nail to and to glue. And the other thing I did as well is on the bottom, I, I on the inside I rabbited all this out so I can put a panel inside of this and I can light it up or put a logo in it or something like that. So when we theme these guys out, you can theme it in whatever you want. Or you can keep it very generic. You can keep this looking like a shell pump, gas pump, or Texaco, or many, many different types of uh, gas brands. So that's what we got going on. So we want to build some boxes so we can attach this and get this looking like it's going to be a three-dimensional object soon, not just a two-dimensional. So let's, let's build some more stuff. Let's build some boxes. Okay, we got some of our bottom pieces cut for our box. So let's get the air nailer going here.
Okay, we got our boxes built. This is our bottom one. And I left it open for a reason, and you'll find out why when I assemble it. And then I made a top one, and this one could be totally enclosed. So that's, that's the top. So now what we're going to do is we're going to attach the boxes to our front and back panels. And that'll start giving us a three-dimensional object. Okay, here's our bottom box and we want to make sure I made the strips a little bit different from top to bottom and you'll see why but I want the bigger strip to the bottom and now I'm gonna glue it glue it up and let's put it on perfect and I'm gonna nail up from the bottom Okay, now we're going to the top. Let's set this down. It will make it so much easier. Spin this around. And I'll use this half inch strip so that it's up from the bottom just a little bit. Well, a half inch. Make sure that we're in. Yep, perfect. Now I'm going to glue it. Noisely glued. Noise. Real noise. Okay, let's set this down now. There we go. Let's go down. Just up. There we go. Just like that. We are doing it. Keeping it nice. Noise and flush. Let's get the nail. Perfect. And now we got it somewhat attached. So let's put our next one on. Be yeah, nice with an extra pair of hands. If you are an octopus, this would be great. There we go. It's looking more like a gas pump every day. All right, now that we got our three-dimensional gas pump put together, uh, this is probably one of the hardest parts of the whole thing. And we need to make a bridge across here and it needs to be a radius so it follows a nice curve. And the hardest part about this is you gotta wrap it and, and router out a groove, plus you need to router out your radius here as well. I'm gonna make them a little bit wider because wider will be easier to work with. And what I need to do is I need to sink this piece in and router it along this edge to make it look flush and symmetrical to the whole cabinet. All right, so we're ready to fill in our cabinet now. I'm just gonna turn it to the side so you can see. We're gonna fill in the two sides, this one and the other side. And I'm not gonna worry about the back yet because I'm going to put a mirror in the back more than likely is what I'm looking at. And uh, I got this special plywood and I wanted to show you guys and it bends Ooh, or cracked a little bit it's a little bit dry that's why but it bends it's called curve core or another name for it is called wiggle board it gives that ability to bend around different types of shapes so I've used it um, on many different projects and it works quite well so with this one we just have a subtle curve but it would probably be too much of a curve to say put regular plywood on it. Um, you, you might be able to do it if you went on the, the length side of it and, and, and curved it. Plywood might work, so you could try that. This is 3 8 uh, It comes in many different thicknesses, but uh, we used 3 8 uh, on the sides, so I thought I'd use 3 8 on the top, and I routered everything out for 3 8 So I routered my groove for the very top, so it'll go down, and it'll just curve right around and we're gonna glue it. 
We're gonna glue it really good because I don't want it popping. I'm gonna staple it with three quarter inch staples. So I'm gonna do that so we can put all that on. And then I also went ahead and I cut my panels, so we're gonna put the panels on as well. Uh, those I'm just gonna nail because they're not, there's not a lot of stress on those, so I'll just glue and nail those. So yeah, once we get it all boxed in, it'll start taking a lot better shape and it'll look more like a gas pump. Okay, so I put some carbondo here on this piece of wood, and now I'm just gonna mix it up. And I really like using this stuff because it sands really nice and it hardens really good and it didn't shrink. So we're gonna apply this all around the edges of our cabinet so that this cabinet will look like all one piece, just like a metal one would look like. I didn't mix up a ton at a time because it hardens so quickly. We just gotta keep going in small bits. All right, so we did all our bases. I machined them all out and this is kind of what it turned out to be. So it looks quite similar to what they used back in the day when these things were in use. And what I'm gonna do now is I already routed out one as I routed out an edge on the, on the side of it. So it's kind of a cove, you can see that. And then there's two pieces that go together. So it brings it up a little bit, gives it a nice base for our gas pump to sit on. And uh, it's gonna look really, really cool. So let's, let's keep going. Okay, so the next part of our project is we gotta make kind of a globe. And what I'm gonna use for a globe is I picked up a ceiling light from a local hardware store. And it's got an, it's nice and, it's fairly thin and it's fairly flat because we wanna put a clear decal over top of this. So for this particular project, I felt that the flatter the surface, the better it will be for a decal. You can get ones that are domed a little bit, which are nice too, and they would look pretty good on a gas pump as well. Um, or you can purchase the globe itself. You can buy them on eBay or Amazon, but we wanna theme these in our own kind of theme. So we don't wanna go with a traditional, say, golf or shell or, or even something that has a car logo in it. We want something that has our own theme. So with this type of design, I can decal it and I can put anything I want on it and kind of customize it to what I need. And what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna CNC out a ring on the outside to give it a base to bolt onto or to screw to and also it makes it look more authentic to the gas pump. All right we milled out all our rings what we're going to do is we're going to router the outside edge. I milled five of them the reason being is because we have two gas pumps that we're building and we have a front and a back the extra ring, I actually want to split down the middle and make it just a little bit thicker. So we'll be putting it in the middle of these two. So that'll give us a little bit more width for our light. So yeah, so I guess we're Lord of the Rings. So the next thing I want to do is I want to make some of these little pucks and I'm going to make them with this four inch hole saw bit and I'm going to make a bunch of these so that we can mount it to the bottom. Okay we got our pucks done with a bit of difficulty. It's smoking. My drill is smoking. It's hot. That's a big bit. It's okay, little bugger. It's a bloody big bit to be spinning around like that, especially with a cordless drill. I think we need more battery power. But it's okay. We uh, we got them all kind of cut out. And what I want to do, I did it with this one already, is I put a router on the edge of it just to make it look a lot more smoother, a little more authentic, just a little nicer. So we're gonna do that with this one as well.
Okay, I went ahead and I put some stuff together here. Uh, this here is our light up box and I just put a bunch of these little pucks together. I glued and nailed all these and then I put a bolt through there kind of with a carriage head. Goes all the way through and comes out this end and then this goes right on top and it'll go right through in, in the cabinet box and then it'll bolt on and that's how this will attach. Now we have to attach our gas pump nozzle and our hose. I got this from a local hardware store and this is just a regular heater hose from like a car or something. It just has to look like, you know, it's gonna be used for gas. Um, so we have to attach this to our cabinet. So I gotta make some sort of a little, kind of a little box that sticks out that can go inside. And then we gotta make some, some, some sort of a handle that this will actually clip into and on the side of our cabinet. Thanks for joining me, you guys. I really was excited to build these gas pump display cases. This is a project that I wanted to do for quite some time. I had this in my head for years and I thought about it and thought about it over and over again and how I was gonna do it. And it was kind of nice to finally get it out and built. So I'm really happy the way things turned out. Everything looks really, really cool. Uh, what I love about these display cases is that if you have trophies from car shows, if you have die cast cars, any car memorabilia would be really, really cool to display in these cabinets. So, so really happy. Uh, join me on another part to this whole process and this whole build. We're gonna be custom painting these and theming each one out in something different. So please like and subscribe, it helps support my channel. And uh, remember, don't just build it, theme it. Hey Kit, tell me a joke. I stopped for gas the other day and the service was so slow, by the time they filled me up, my upholstery was out of style.